Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2024 Ember Touring Edition, model number 29 MRS, very close to the 29 RS, but we're going to get into that. Weighs around 8,200 pounds, great living room model with a separate front bedroom. This is at all tiers and no fears. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. What's going on, happy campers, huge campers, and fellow salespeople? Thanks so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd very much appreciate that. Also, leave a comment. Let us know what you think about Ember. There's a lot of really fancy things going on there. Josh is going to do his best to deep dive into those things. I'm setting the bar high here. Enjoy this video. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook. You should follow us along there as well. Right on, Brendan. There is a ton to touch on with these embers. We got ourselves a front power jack. We have an adjustable hitch so you can really set that up to the hitch height of your truck in conjunction with your weight distribution hitch. We're gonna have some propane tanks in through here. Battery compartment here on the right. Battery, 20 pounders, shelf. I love this kind of armored box protecting that. Um, just the whole exterior has like this, I don't wanna say exoskeleton because that's not what's going on, but it has like these aluminum pieces that keep everything super rigid but also protect the corners if you're hitting brush hitting a few things on the side of the road you know things happen right brendan of course they do okay and just these aluminum pieces protecting that we got the same kind of brush guard up there at the top rounding those corners show off that wicked moon roof stargazer, stargazer. window beat you to it brother you looks good in through there one of these videos i'm going to start in there looking out eh that'd be, cool. that'd be fun wouldn't it be pass through storage it opens up on the other side so we're going to get to that uh, for the actual uh, storage we have our city water connection our winterizing black water flush kit fresh water fill all that done here through this nice little nautilus system our gate valves are here and heated off the furnace outside shower we can bypass for the water heater in through here too six gallon gas electric water heater manual jacks all the way around rock solid so they're very very uh, sturdy and strong sewer drain down through here 50 amp detachable style cords, 16 inch Goodyear tires, torsion suspension. So the base of this trailer is extraordinary, right? Because we have the massive 16 inch tires. We don't often see that in travel trailers. The Goodyear, the torsion suspension, which really eliminates a lot of the, uh, you know, the movement you're going to get when you're going down the road. Uh, it's got the BAL frame as well, which is again a very rigid frame. And then right here. <clears throat> I don't have my keys on me, Brandon. Shoot. B -b -b bonus. Bonus storage right through there. This has the lane assist system. So basically, as you pass somebody uh, on you know on the highway, there's a light that's going to go off on the front end, lets you uh, feel a little bit like Dale Earnhardt. We got ourselves a full size spare with the beautiful uh, aluminum rim in through here. Euro style windows. We're going to talk about those more when we get inside. But Euro style dual pane windows. Here's our door side slide, pulling our couch and our dine off the floor. Uh, we have big windows facing our campsite. Secondary awning off the uh, the main slide in through there. LED lights and that awning as well. I like how we have the deckling in between these two windows. It makes it just look like one giant window. Outside receptacle, secure step all the way to the ground. Lend a hand, grab handle. <clears throat> furnace vent in through here and then the other side of a pass through and see what I mean how it uh, opens up over here on this side there's the prep for a backup camera prep for a ladder the ladder comes with it which is awesome nice lighting in through here there's also a table that fits up in here too um, I'll show that well this is the spot right now the table's not there um, it comes with the table though uh, yeah and then the corners here Brendan I want to touch on this too so Everybody's using, not everybody, a lot of companies are using putties and sealants and that kind of thing. These guys, along with Brinkley, are using a turn of on their corners, which really cleans up the exterior. It's not like something you have to redo year after year. Uh, the turn of on lasts forever. It's really, really great stuff. Bridges the gaps there between the corners, which is always your trouble spot on a trailer. Now, as we head inside, let's go see what kind of travel access we have with the slide outs closed. From what I remember, yeah, we're not getting to the bathroom, sorry, to the uh, the fridge in through here, but we are easily getting to the bathroom on the side of the road, and we're getting to your bedroom as well. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on, folks. We're inside that Ember 29 
MRS. We talked about the uh, the Eternal Bond tape and stuff like that. It's all aluminum framing in through here, except for the roof. The roof is like a wood truss system, and then it's as down the wall. So a lot of composite materials, not a lot of wood in this construction at all, which is great. Uh, as we look over into the main slide in through here, it's a good look at our windows. These are dual pane windows. They're gonna really, uh, you know, cut down on condensation. They're gonna help with insulation. Plus, they're really, really clear. Like, there's no like center bar in the middle of them. There's no crank handles in the way. It's just pure window there, looking out to your campsite. Nice and easy to use. You basically just unlock these like so. All right, and then push it out. Locks into place. You have a screen that's going to pull down for your screen action, and then you're also going to have a blind here that's going to pop up from the bottom for the blind action. If you look over right here at this window on the left, you can see how this is kind of a convenient way to have this, right, Brandon? Because you can still get a look out, but still provide a little bit of privacy in there um, looking out at the neighbors, right? Makes sense. All right. Freestanding table and chairs. There's no carpet here in the slide at all. The way they finished off the linoleum is really, really nice. It looks like it's just part of the floor. Our theater seats are manual reclining. Got a couple cup holders. The uh, trifold sofa here at the back. It's gonna pull out to a secondary bed. You can sleep two people here if they're in love. And then we have cupboard space on either side. Just a little shallow guys there. Spot to store a book. <clears throat> Receptacles on both sides with USBs on both sides. And then again, great windows across the back side here. Nice sconce lighting. There's some additional lighting in through here. Cupboard space here across the top. One thing these guys do I think better than anybody, Brendan, is the color matching, right? Just the the, the light temperature really matches the wood temperature. Uh, it feels um, homey and warm in through here. It doesn't feel clinical at all. Take a look at this uh, trim strip in through here. So it's not actually a piece of wood, and from a distance you can't even tell it's there, but just even the color match between those two pieces is exceptional. Your TV's across from your theater seats. Open storage here, fireplace down below, covered space here, real solid wood doors all the way across. We have this cool looking pantry as well. <clears throat> Adjustable shelves in through there with the motion sense of light. Counter space in through here, glass stove top cover, oven down below with a cupboard in through here. Microwave, cupboard. Oh, this is a built in convection microwave with the air fryer, eh? B? Bang, bang. Bang, bang. 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge by Furion. Nice and deep in through here. This particular one has the 400 watt solar system with the built-in inverter. Solar's charging the battery, batteries run the fridge. Love to see it. There's a drawer down below here. Soft close on that drawer. And then here's our kitchen island. Great counter space on either side of the sink, so nice and easy to do dishes. Split 50-50 stainless steel sink in through here. Drying rack with the cutting board. And then just in case you need a little more, uh, counter space you got this uh, extension in through here see how they have attention to detail here wrapping this up just so it doesn't flap as you go down the road and then we got four drawers down the right hand side those are soft clothes as well spot here for garbage can recycling four more drawers here down the left as well and then here's our hutch we got great depth in our hutch so we can put some appliances in through here there's a receptacle on the left hand side covered space covered space and then more covered space right through there. We've got covers across the top as well. Nice backsplash too, AB. Very nice. <clears throat> and then, you know, nice lights here. We didn't even talk about the fact we have the, all these upper cabinets that are solid wood as well. Um, 82 inches of height in here? Yes. 82 inches. So it feels big. What that does is also let you make the slide boxes taller, which lets you put more storage, bigger windows, all that kind of stuff in through here. 8,200 pounds, so not a small trailer, but you know, really, really nicely done in here as well. Now we have ourselves our washroom, porcelain toilet, dump truck fits, cupboard space there, sink and a medicine cabinet. And then into our square style shower. I'm six feet tall. You can tell I fit in the shower quite easily. Nautilus style door, skylight above me, nice looking, uh, uh, shower head. Thank you, brother. Shower miser in through here. I like this surround, eh? I do too. The faux brick. Yeah, faux brick. It's not real brick. They don't put real bricks in trailers. Well, not this the... would be 10,000 pounds. <laughs> with, with real brick? You're absolutely right. Here's your bedroom. We got some drawers here on either side. I'll get out of your way. Sorry, Dean. And then we got uh, hanging stores on either side as well. 
cupboard space across the top. We've got that stargazer window. Can you imagine sitting or sleeping in here, looking out through the window, seeing the stars? We've got this cupboard space here for your uh, laundry prep if you want to put one in, or just lots of storage. Two larger drawers in through here. And then this is kind of how the uh, 29 RS would look in the bedroom, right? But because we're in the 29 MRS, we got this great bed area that's gonna convert into like a den kind of couch area. So all you're gonna do here is flip in so inside like that. I flip this over as well. Give this one more flip and just put it up and through there. And then look how this latches into place. Boom, that's awesome. Popping this up and down into a couch area. Say you're sick of your loved one. <clears throat> Say you just want space for your boyfriend and your husband in the same trailer. Lots of space in through here for that. You can put a TV here, look up at the stars. I love this Murphy bed conversion area. That's the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.